man's life in southwestern Virginia has something to do with coal mining. It takes a special kind of man to go miles underground every day and risk his life to do his job. Our whole community is bound together in this. My lamp is my sun, and all my days are night. That's from a poem my grandfather used to quote when I was growing up. When I look back on the big events, on the things that really changed my life, everything goes back to Grandpa. Yeah, I'm all right. No. Hey, Gray, maybe? Yeah. Over there, D. Well, now I reckon we know what's been plugging up all these ventilation shafts. <laughs> all right. Let's get her short up. All right, got it. So far. Yeah. How far you reckon it goes back up? I don't know. Can't okay, tell. Go a little farther if you can. Take it easy. guys we got down there? Two. And Clayton Hayes. And Gary. Let me go. There's my son down there, Frank. Let me go. do no good. the strongest man I've ever known. To understand him, you have to know that he worked in the Thin Fork coal mine from the time he was 16. Dear God, you could have been killed. <laughs> well, no, no, no. It's, it's all over. How about in summer? <laughs> Tall bird. Clayton. One more thing. And she's back. His strength is what my mama ran from. His strength is what kept me alive. You put that damn thing out. Great to see you too, Dad. I breathe coal dust every day. I can at least have a little clean air in my own home. Sorry, I forgot. You were right. Gene and me aren't getting along, we're splitting up. 
I could never figure out what the hell he was doing with him in the first place. Well, excuse me for being 17 and making a mistake. You just never have any sympathy for anybody, do you? I don't think that's true. I guess it's just me, then. I'm just... I'm just finding things hard now. Of course it's hard. Having a baby is not a game. I just... I need to get my life together. I need to get a job. I gotta find a place to live. You're gonna leave your child, huh? You make it sound like I'm a criminal. No, I don't want to abandon her. It's only for a little while. It's all right, honey. We'll be happy to keep it for you. Kinder. I didn't say half of what I wanted to. Mama could never get her life together, and she never did come back. So I was raised by my grandparents. When I was ten, Grandma died, and then it was just Grandpa and me. Our community remained just about the same one Mama had left behind, and Grandpa continued to work the mines, and I grew up pretty much like all the other kids in the county. See what it is. You never forget. <laughs> Grandpa, thank you. It's beautiful. Finally, fifteen. Something you've been wishing for. Huh? Forever. It's like when you're fourteen, you're still a kid. But when you're fifteen, it's for real. <laughs> well, when you get to be fifty, you wish you were fourteen again. You know, um. Mama hasn't called yet. Do you think she forgot her? I just still don't understand why she left me. Honey, I've been telling you for years that woman is a mystery to me. Stop thinking about her. I have. Besides, don't you like the way I've raised you? Yes, I just... I still wonder, you know. Um, is there something wrong with me? Nothing wrong with you. It's not about you. It's about her. Well, what about her? Why well, couldn't you two just get along? Emma, I don't know. It, your mom and me is like oil and water. We never saw eye to eye on one damn thing. Maybe now boys will notice me. <laughs> now that what? That I'm 15. <laughs> A little bit early in the season for hunting, isn't it? <laughs> it won't be by the time I finish this thing. I called my mama today. She was real nice. Grandpa, I'd like to go stay with her for about a week. If that's okay with you. Please, it's just over the state line. Why? Because it's not like I don't have a mama. I do. I just want to know her better. You don't need to know her any better. People need more than food and shelter, Grandpa. Dear Grandpa, 
please don't be too mad at me. I've gone to Tennessee to stay with my mama for a little while. I can't just wonder all my life. I have to find out about her for myself. Please, try to understand. It'll just be for a few days, and it's winter break now, so I won't be missing any school. Don't worry, I'm sure everything's gonna work out just fine. There's lots of food in the fridge. Much love, Emma. Deep down, I knew Grandpa would understand, but I was real nervous as I walked up to Mama's house. She lived at the back of a commercial lot that sold mobile homes. Hang on, I'm coming. Hang on. Move your pants on. I'm there. I'm sorry, I must have the wrong place. What are you looking for? Angie Baker. She's my mother. Really? Well, come on in. She lives here. Yes, ma'am, she sure does. Well, she's at work right now, but will you still come on in? It's okay. Come on. There you go. Only 15. 15? Well, I guess girls pretty much growing up at 15 now, aren't they? I don't know. In this trailer? You're old enough to do anything you want to do, ain't your face? <laughs> so what do you do? Well, I run my own business. I repair air conditioning and heating systems. Do you like it? Well, I set my own hours and I work when I want. That's great. Yeah. So is this your first time away from home? And your boyfriend's let you go, beautiful thing like you? I don't have any boyfriends. You don't? Well, the men around there must be blind. Maybe they're just not men, huh? Do you know where my mama is? Mama? Uh, well, she got off for about a half hour ago. I'd say she's probably a Bobby's by now. Hey, so anybody ask you, you're 21, all right? Hey guys. NJ. Look what I found. What'd you bring her here for? Well, now she said she wanted to see her mom. So you bring her to a bar? Look like. You said you're coming tomorrow. Tuesday. I said Tuesday. Whatever. You should have called first. She did call. That's when she told you she was coming Tuesday. Right. Can't you just go do something useful like make her up a bed on the couch or something? I guess I, I didn't think you were really going to come, but I'm glad you're here. I'm really glad. Ah, oh, hell. Let me help you. I've got you. it. I got it. You must be tired then. So why don't you just go on to bed and uh and we can do all our, our catching up later.
Good night. All right. There you go, princess. Thank you. Right. Would you give her some privacy? The two will roar, Angie. No. Kids will just sleep through anything. Well, I guess you didn't notice, but that ain't no kid. It's a dance. your note. You uh, got there okay? Yeah, just fine. I wish you'd have told me. I'm sorry. I wanted to. And uh, you're all right, huh? Yeah, just fine. So, uh, you're happy there? Mom and I really haven't had a chance to talk yet. Well, you want to come home, you just let me know and I'll come pick you up anytime. Okay. I gotta go now, Grandpa. Bye. Bye. Hey. Morning. So he wants you to come home, huh? Afraid I've already ruined you with my bad influence? He just wanted to make sure I got in all right. You want some breakfast? Sure, that'd be great. You know, Bobby's in really a bar. It's more a place where people get together and talk. Sure. Ray shouldn't have brought you there. He ought to think sometimes. He was just trying to help. He seems really nice. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He got me this place. He knows the owner. Does the appliance work on all the trailer sales? That's nice. <sighs> so how'd you sleep? Like a baby. Um, I gotta go out and uh, see some friends, so um, I'll be back later. Okay. Look, I know you came all the way out here and everything, but... I can't just not show up when I told somebody I'd be there. So, um, the place is yours. And do whatever you want. We'll talk later. could use the help. Where is your mom? She went to visit some friends. Are you kidding me? 
It's okay. I know she's busy. Well, get up off the floor now. You don't belong on no floor. There you go. You're just perfect, aren't you? What's wrong? I asked some guy undercut me on that bank contract. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Oh, what the hell? Who cares? Let's go out. I want to take you to the best restaurant in Tennessee. Make Cinderella the princess she ought to be. What if Mom comes home? Well, you can leave her a note. Now, come on. Have dinner with me, please. Say yes. Come on. I'm going to be your Prince Charles. Okay. Okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, that's <laughs> great. That's my girl. All right, wait a minute. There you go. Here, you can wear this. I have dresses. <laughs> oh, not for where we're going, you don't. Liquid gold. This isn't booze. This comes right out of the faucets in heaven. Champagne can't make you drunk. Where are you going? I love you. You're meant to be mine. Ray? Ray? I'm here, baby. Ray? Ray, what are you doing? You sure this is okay? Oh, it's okay, Angel Face, don't you? Are we home yet? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're home.
Hey, look who's up. Good morning, gorgeous. Brought some coffee. There you go. What's the matter? Come on, we'll take him from your own ways. Don't touch me. It's all right. It's all right. What's the matter with my baby? What did you do to me? Oh! Oh! Again. Isn't that what they call driving without a license, Stu? Here, give Stu anything you want. Thanks, Clayton. I'll pay you. I must have seen you do that 20 times, eh? Anybody ever pay you back? Sometime. Clayton, you got a phone call. It's important. It's me, Emma. What's the matter? You all right? Something, um... Something happened. You... You have to come help me. All right. I'm on my way. I need to know. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Something to drink. I passed out, I guess. I really don't remember very much, but... I remember he was on top of me. And then what? Who is it? Ray. Ray Wilcox, a man living with mom. You need a doctor? Grandpa! Grandpa, please don't do this. Please don't go. I'm gonna blow his head off. Grandpa, please, you can't. You're all I have left. Virginia. No kid. That's mine. I'll take it. That's hers. You expect the way you treat her. Hi, 
matter, baby. I brought you something. Get away from me. Oh, now, now, wait a get second. Get away from right, me. What are you so afraid of? Please, get away. All right, look. Right, Grandpa. I'm, I'm sorry if you weren't ready for what happened. I thought you felt the way I did. Grandpa. So just, just let me come in and just let me talk to you. Well, you must be Ray Wilcox. That's right. Get off my property. And don't ever come back here, you understand me? Now, wait a second now, old man. Who do you think you're talking to? If he ever comes back here, you tell me. You're all right now. I'm going to call the police. I want him to pay. No. Grandpa, please. I don't want to go and talk about it in court. I just want to forget it. Please. All right. Oh, there you are. I thought you was down at the pond skating with your friends. Nope, I guess not. Well, why don't you go on down there? I'm tired, I just don't feel like it. I love you. I do. Come over here. Come sit down and talk to me. Come on now. Hey, Don't run off. Don't run off. Hey, Right now. Are you pregnant? I feel out. I can't. It'll be all right. It's going to be all right. Don't you see? It's not going to be all right. It's never going to be all right again. I should listen to you. I never should have gone. Do you still love me? Love you? You're the only reason I breathe. The reason I get up in the morning. What am I going to do, Grip? You ripped my life in two, and it's never going to be the same again. No, it's not. But that's the way life treats you. It rips you off one road and throws you down on another one. <laughs> it's either a test or a hell of an education. I don't want to have a baby. I don't want to have his baby. Well, that's your choice. you got a right. But it's my baby, too. It's part of 
to all the people I love, like you and Grandma. What do you think, Grandpa? It's not my decision. Tell me what you think. I think I would be happy to give her a home. Like you did for me. It's an easy thing. back here again, if you speak to her, if you even look at her, I'm going to blow your damn brains all over the highway. You got on. <laughs> hey. Hey. The boy sure is cute. Yeah. Of course, it figures his mama's so pretty. Thank you. Some of it's still bothering you. I'm through the mail. Grandpa convinced him not to come around anymore. How'd you do that? About to set off with the carbine. <laughs> That's good. Yes, <laughs> The doctors, they need a free hand. To do what? <laughs> what they have to. Ms. Baker. Yes. Your baby's doing a lot better. Because it's something I did. No, no, not at all. Matthew has severe asthma. Asthma's not that bad. 
Well, actually, it can be very bad. It can be fatal. The trouble with this severe form of asthma in infants is that it can so easily lead to complications. You see, the baby's trachea windpipe is so tiny that it can just tighten right up, and he might not be able to breathe at all. We were very lucky tonight, actually, that it didn't close up entirely. He could easily have died. What can I do? We're going to give you a home ventilator, but they don't always work. You have to watch him very closely, and you have to get him to the hospital immediately when he has an acute attack. If you don't, you could lose him. How often is he going to have one of these attacks? Well, that's impossible to say, but I wouldn't be surprised to see five or six acute episodes a year. Hospitalized episodes. Now, we're going to have to keep him for a few days, maybe even a week. But if everything goes fine, you'll be able to take him home. You don't understand. He's never spent the night without me. When he wakes up and I'm not here, <laughs> you don't understand. Take good care of him. He's going to be fine, Ellen. She's right. They can take care of him here. Thank you, Doc. What do you mean, great-grandchildren aren't covered? He's my dependent. Dependents are covered. He is my immediate family. He lives under my roof. Listen, I've been paying into this damn health insurance plan for 43 years. It's the first time I ever asked for anything. Ah, it's the law, is it? Well, the law stinks. Well, Grandpa, I can get a job. It won't pay it off right away, but we can try. You know how for... much it costs, how expensive it is to stay in the hospital. What a pleasant surprise. Won't you come on in? I don't have time. I heard about Matthew's trouble. Took up a collection. Don't know how much you need, but there's a start. Oh, I can't. Not for you, you old sinner. <laughs> for the baby. Maybe someday I'll see you in church. <laughs> I can't believe they did this. How much you got there? 284. That's uh, 318. It looked like so much. It was to the people who gave it. Wait a minute. Immediate family. I'll adopt him. My baby. Well, Pete's sake, honey, it's only in name. I mean, this will save his life. It's not like you're giving him up. It's just on paper. Then he wouldn't be mine anymore. Believe me, it's the best thing. I'm surprised you're not jumping up and down. It's just... All right, Clayton. You need to fill this out. Emma? You need to sign this. This is your consent. And we also need to sign consent from the father. Is that a problem? No reason why it should be. I don't see why we need his permission. Well, the law requires it. Well, then, uh, I reckon we have to. I'm going to talk to the judge. And because of the special circumstances, I think we can get a hearing within the week. I still don't see why we can't leave Ray out. He had nothing to do with this. Afraid not. We have to have the signatures of both parents. Our next matter is a petition for adoption. Clayton Hayes seeks to adopt Matthew Baker. However, I have a petition from the child's father. The father declines the request to grant permission for the adoption and further petitions the court for sole custody of the child. Are you crazy? Counsel, he... please keep your client he quiet. He thinks he can take my baby? Young lady, if you can't maintain the... Your Honor. Of the court. 
The child in question is the result of a statutory rape by this man. I'm not aware of any rape charges pending before this court counsel. Nevertheless, your honor... Custody is what you have petitioned me to decide. Custody is a matter we will deal with. He has no right to my baby. Bailiff, please remove the young lady. What? Lady. What your is honor, your please. problem? What are you trying to counsel do? Counsel may remain. Joke? Haven't you done enough? Haven't you done enough? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? What happened? They threw him out, didn't they? We have to come back tomorrow for his decision. Decision? What kind of decision is there? He's not going to take my baby. I'm sorry, I will not let that happen. Uh, we'll drop the adoption proceedings. We'll find some other way. The problem is we can't rescind Emma's consent to give up the baby. Take it. Take it. It's a check. My first child support payment. You want your money. Are you refusing it? No, she's not. She's interested in anything that's good for Matthew's welfare. Go on to the car. Let's go. What? Do you, what? What is the matter with you? The matter with me? You're the one trying to take a kid that ain't yours. That is my son. Get out of my way. In evaluating this case, the court has taken note that Mr. Wilcox is better educated than the child's mother, has employment, and is better capable of providing for the child, and has, in fact, already been making weekly child support payments. The court finds the mother's willingness to give up the child for adoption is poor indication of her fitness as a mother. Therefore, the decision of this court is that it is in the best interest of the child to grant custody to his natural father, Ray Wilcox. Miss Baker, the court orders you to surrender the child within 24 hours. While we're waiting for our appeal, Mr. Wilcox takes custody of Matthew. And where does he live? Tennessee? Problem is, States favor their own residents in custody disputes. You have almost no hope of winning. Now, your only chance is to keep Matthew in Virginia. I won't let him go. He will die without me. How soon can we appeal? Now, because of the health situation, I think I can ask for expedition. I can talk to the judge tomorrow, and we can file tomorrow. And then it's up to the court to give us a date. In the meantime, the judge's order stands. Matthew will have to be surrendered tomorrow. Hey. Hello, Angie. Who is this? It's me. It's your dad. I don't want to talk to you. It's about Emma. He's trying to take the baby away from her. Well, it's his baby. <laughs> Angie, would you forget for a minute that you hate me and just think about your daughter? You always blame me. It's always my fault. Get out of my house. Listen to me, please. This friend of your, uh, whatever the hell he is, uh, 
ask him not to do this. He, he's ripping her apart. Well, she just shouldn't have gotten pregnant in the first place. Should she? Where'd you go? Nowhere. Grandpa, I need you to help me. I don't know what to do, Emma. I do. All right, now, his medication's in here. You know what to do if he has an attack. I'll keep in touch. Let you know how he's doing. It's not just him I'm worried about. Police are going to be after you. You know that. I yeah, can't be helped. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this isn't the right thing to do. Maybe it isn't right, but maybe it's just that we do the best we can. Tell that lawyer to work as fast as possible. Bye, right, sweetheart. Okay. Having a baby's not like owning a toy. You gotta build your life around it. How the hell would you know? I knew I couldn't do it. I knew that much. You got no rights to her, baby. I'm his daddy. You're nothing. Just keep it to a roar, Angie. Baker, 
You've been ordered by the court to relinquish custody of your son to Mr. Wilcox. I'm sorry, he's not here. Oh, that's bull. Come on. Your son's not at the house. When I woke up this morning, he wasn't here. The old man took him, didn't he? I'm sorry, I don't know where he is. It's in your first mistake. But it might be your biggest one. Ma'am, the child is now legally in the custody of Mr. Wilcox. If anyone's in possession of the child without his permission, that individual is guilty of kidnapping. You hear that? That's kidnapping. Yes, sir. Thank you. Kidnap! Hi, Daddy. Gary. I hit your truck good, but they might come here anyway, because folks know we're friends. Gotta hold it. Sure. Be careful. Let me see it. Oh. Oh. Looks like you boys brought the son with you. Come on in. Thank you. Sir, I have relatives in Kentucky. They'll put us up. Get the hell out of Virginia. Okay. Is this place for Road Runner? Road Runner, here, come back. I don't think they bought it. Coyotes on your tail. They started asking about your location. I think we need a switch. Yeah, I, I know. I'm on it. It's Blue Ridge Base Road, Killer. Well, where, where are you right now? 9460 North. Okay, could you take a little detour to the south? Roger that, Brian. This is Roadrunner running the Blue Ridge base. You got his tag. Yeah, you got a rendezvous. Now listen up. I can't thank you enough. I don't even say it. You know what I mean. these days, Jenny. Not running cold anymore? Nah, that's I had that disagreement with the soup. Getting a man with a shovel is not a disagreement, Jim. It's assault. Man touched my truck. Get the signal. Step out of the truck, please. If you 
you're looking for a place to sleep, I generally recommend the Cyclone Inn about four and a half miles down on the right oh, side of... Smart mouth me, mister. In the back of the truck. I didn't mean to offend you. I just don't know what you want. A little less talking, a little more moving. Well, sure, I don't have to talk. Nobody likes talking. All I'm trying to do is help out. Now, officer, you, uh... You sure you want to open this? You're suspected of harboring a fugitive. Fugitive? Fugitive. Open her up. Well, all right. Of course, I can't imagine harboring a fugitive. It scares me just to think about it. What'd you say he was, psycho killer on the rampage? Officer, have a nice day. Let me see that little hand. Let me see that little hand. Ooh, you gonna give me a smile? Hey, Google guy, you gonna smile for me? Good you, good you, good you. All right, Pappy. Put him back in the carrier. We stop for lunch. Can I hold him again? I reckon. <laughs> there you go. You wanna drive? Yeah, he's big enough. Killer, uh, this is a highway hawk. You got your ears on. This is a killer, go on. Uh, just want to let you know, I crossed the Kentucky border. They got cops out here searching anything bigger than a coal bucket. I just thought you might want to know. Appreciate it, though. This is a hawk. I'm gone. I don't think you're going to Kentucky. Clayton. Yeah, we talked to Reverend Collins. He told us what's going on. How did he know? I think Brian O'Leary called him. Still riding with Jimmy? Yeah, but what? Need a place to stay. Well, get on over here. Why didn't you call me first? Well, he can get a lot of trouble helping us, you know. For God's sake, Clayton. I work two miles into a mountain. Think I'm afraid of the cops? Door, baby, I know you're in there. You're meant for me. I know you feel it too, huh? I saw the way you looked at me that night. It was so good. God, it was perfect.
was Reverend Collins on the phone. He says they're searching the houses of the people that know you, and they'll probably be here soon. Oh. Stu Griffith's on his way to pick you up. People that know you, and they'll probably be here soon. Oh. Stu Griffith's on his way to pick you up. Cigarette out, it's not good for the baby. Oh, yeah, sorry. All right. This is flat tire. Come on, back. This shift, let's go ahead. Got an address for your car, go. Come on. Wait a minute, that's one of them. Route 19 to intersection of 460. Be a white house, black shutters, and a green porch. Be on your right. Copy that? We do. Thank you much. Pleasure, my friend. You got that? I do, thank you much. I must be up here just a bit. In position, have a view of the residence. Oh, shit. Shiftless. There it is, just up there. Shiftless. Don't stop, do not stop. Put the hammer down, son. There's bears in the woods. You copy that? <laughs> Flat tire, this is shiftless. What do I do? Let me talk to him. Frank? This is Clayton. Call the mine. Tell him we're coming in. They're going to the mine. Hang on. Unusual way to unload your coal, Stu. <laughs> Don't worry about us. Get that son of a gun.
the hands in the air. Step out of the truck with your hands up. Just step out of the truck. Chin's bait. Let's roll. Can't I have my lawyer present for this? No, no. What we came to ask you about has nothing to do with your court case. What we want to talk to you about is kidnapping. Are you aware that kidnapping is a felony offense? The only thing that carries any greater penalty is murder. And under certain circumstances, Kidnapping can even incur the death penalty, or at the very least, it means serious prison time. Ten years, maybe twenty years. How much time do you think your grandfather has to live? Listen, I appreciate you gentlemen coming here to tell me about the law. Violating a federal law is not a game. Neither is deciding whether or not my child will live or die, although the court seems to think it is. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. We'll show ourselves out. Hello? Brian, hi, it's me, it's Emma. Um, do you know where my grandpa is? Um, uh, I think I can get a message, though, to the last person that saw him. I gotta see him. Okay, I'll work on it. I'll, I'll be right back to you. service, isn't she? The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of Maybe God it's fine. and the blessing of God Almighty. But we've got to give it up. Body. What are you talking about? And Holy Please Spirit come to see me. Be with you. They're calling it kidnapping. With you, always. Don't you see? It's a federal offense. They will take you to prison. Yeah. I'd get you in church one of these days, Clayton. Thank you, Reverend. Appreciate it. Maybe if we bring him back now, they won't pursue it. No. No? You'll spend the rest of your life in prison? We're gonna lose anyway. Hello, school girls. Hi. Thanks for coming out today. You here? Thank you, Reverend. We appreciate it. Well, she didn't come for the service. It's a different judge now, a different court. There's no such thing as justice. I won't believe that. How do we know what to do? Hmm? Follow her heart, sir. I can fight for myself, he can't. Without us, he has nothing. He has to go to... Ray Wilcox, he may not live long enough for us to win him back. Maybe right, maybe not. But that's what we gotta do. Let's check it out. <laughs> Hello, Clay. <laughs> Welcome to your demonstration of faith, gentlemen. We should have been here while the service was still being held. Excuse us, Reverend. We need to go in the church. Please are coming. I'm going to see Matthew. Get a new man. How good of you 
come out on a day like today. Um, could you tell me how long that construction on Route 49 is going to last? I want to see my mother and it took Ma'am, we four. don't handle traffic problems. Well, who is does? Yes, of course it is. We need to go. If you gentlemen are looking for the truth, you'll find it here. Good day to you both. Be of assistance? Assistance to whom, Reverend? To anyone in need. Search it, it will make you feel better. It's okay, they're gone. If you're looking for Ray, he's inside. No. I came to see you. I heard you were alone. I left you alone a long time ago. I shouldn't have. I've made so many mistakes. But I always wanted to tell you that I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm not strong like you, like Dad. I thought about you so many times. Anyway, I guess it's too late now. <laughs> Ma'am, court's about to go into session if you're coming in. This is my mother. I'll see you inside. You go on. You fight for your baby. I will. We have a few deferments, so I'd like to start with Wilcox versus Baker. Are the parties prepared to proceed? We are, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Counsel? Your Honor, the case before us is very simple. On one side, we have a 16-year-old unwed mother who signed a consent to adopt and by doing so, waived all rights to the child. Then, after my client evidences a sincere and sustained desire to have and raise the child, attempts to change her mind. Miss Baker's grandfather abducted the child after he was legally ordered into Mr. Wilcox's custody. provide for the child financially, nor provide for him morally. She was willing to give her baby up for adoption, 
rather than raise him herself. She is not a fit mother and should not be given custody of this child. My client is a responsible adult with a degree from Charlottesville Junior College. He can provide for the child, given the guidance of a mature adult, and create a stable home. It's the child's interests we must consider here, and the child's interests are served by custody being awarded to Mr. Wilcox. That's all I have, Your Honor. Counsel? Your Honor, there is more at issue here than how much education a person has achieved or their current hourly wage. Baby's not breathing. Doctor, please. Uh, get me the baby tray, set up number four. I'm going to call Doctor. We're talking about an infant child here, and I have yet to hear the words love or caring mentioned. Is not the ability to provide emotional support and care for a child more important standards to determine parental fitness than a degree from Charlottesville Junior College? Now, counsel has implied that by signing a consent form allowing her grandfather to adopt her baby that my client has in essence left the child at the door of an orphanage when in fact she did the only thing at her disposal to ensure the well-being of her baby Miss Baker has been the primary caretaker of Matthew since his birth. She has developed a strong emotional bond with him. And Your Honor, she is a fit mother. And she should be allowed to have custody of her son. Thank you, Your Honor. Are you Clayton Hayes? Yes, I am. We need you to come with us. It's fine, but can I wait and hear about the baby? Your Honor, my client wishes to address the court. This is a bit unusual, but uh, all right. Go ahead, Miss Baker. Yes, I'm 16. I was 15 when my Wilcox forced himself on me, or seduced me, or raped me. I'm still not quite sure. I'm still not quite sure what it was. No, I can't provide for Matthew just yet. But after I graduate and get a job, I will, and my grandpa can. And no one's ever gone hungry who's relying on Clayton Hayes. My grandpa is the best, most moral man I have ever known. I didn't plan on having a baby. But I did. I don't love him. More than sunlight. More than my own life. Don't you see, I wasn't giving him up for adoption. I was trying to save his life. How that got us here, I... I just don't think I'll ever understand. I guess that's all.
your grandfather has been taken into custody at St. Teresa's Hospital. Apparently, your son was admitted for emergency treatment. The objective in a case such as this is to determine what's best for the child. I, I see no evidence before me to indicate that Miss Baker is an unfit parent. No evidence? Hey, come on, Judge, look at her. She's just a kid, for God's sakes. That is all, Mr. Wilcox. Ready? Consequently, there is no justification to remove custody from the primary caretaker invested in someone, natural parent or not, who has no previous emotional interaction with the child. The ruling of the lower court is hereby reversed. Pending finalization of the adoption, the child will remain in your grandfather's custody. Welcome here anymore. Angie, I want to talk to you. Yeah, but she don't want to talk to you. Nobody wants to talk to you. Ray didn't bother us after that. And after a while, he just disappeared completely. Mom and I get along pretty well. Something about her changed. I think she's found some kind of peace. It might have something to do with her and me finally becoming friends. I feel like I've become a different person. 